Yes! <laughs> so the plan is that I'm gonna replicate these shoes and make a resin pair filled with something funkadelic. Yeah! Right, so I've made this moldage and I've kind of slid it off there a little bit because uh, try and use you know, a little bit less of the mold because obviously it's quite big. It's gonna take up quite a bit of mold uh, in there. So, um, so I've made a mold for our mold, <laughs> as always. Sealed it up with some uh, glueage. Um, and um, yeah, so these fit in there sort of fairly well. There we go, happy days, happy days. Now I'm not really too sure how this is gonna work because I don't even know if it's gonna work actually. But there's going to be a certain way I'm going to have to do this to, in order to be able to create this mold. I don't actually know that yet, but it might take a couple of attempts. <laughs> Hopefully I don't have to keep wasting a lot of the mold stuff. So um, let's give it a bash. And what I'm going to do first of all, though, I'm going to fill up the mold base just with a little bit of the mold. <laughs> I've got mold on the brain. Um, and then I'm going to fill a little bit inside here first because I want to make sure it goes in there and I'm gonna leave it to set. So yeah, know what I'm saying. Right folks, we've got a cheeky little base layer in there now. So that's just jubbly. Wait for that to dry and then I'm gonna pop in these, <laughs> these stilettos. Now, I know what you're thinking, this is not gonna work at all. And I'm thinking the same thing. <laughs> but I do have a plan, so stick with me. Now what I'm doing here is chopping up old moldage that we made a while ago to reuse it in this mold. So I basically don't have to use as much mold, new mold, because <laughs> I can use the old mold. So for those of you that didn't know this, it's actually a really good way to recycle your old molds. You just chop them up into little bits and then we just plonk them in and they will just fuse together Jubbly, bubbly. Okay, folks, this is what we've got so far. Uh, even with the chopped up old mold, I still didn't have enough. So I'm gonna have to get myself some more silicone mold. I think I used about five or 
five or six pots full of it. Um, so I'm going to have to get probably one more, I think, to fill up the uh, top of the, the heel there. Heel? It's not a heel, is it? Yeah. Shoe. I don't know. <laughs> so I'm going to have to get another load anyway. But this is a really good way to sort of conserve. Probably if I didn't put that in there, I'd probably end up using twice as much. So um, we're getting one more. I'll chop up a few more bits, put it in there and get it to probably around about here-ish, I think. But yeah, it's looking jubbly. Had a bit of a leak, but sorted that. <laughs> Don't I always? I mean, it wouldn't be a Zometi project without a leak. Now, come on. There it is, folks. That is, it's actually, oh, it's actually quite a heavy chunk <laughs> of mold in there. There's a lot of mold in there. But the good thing is, you know, if this does fail, folks, then, you know, we can, we can cut this mold up as you've seen before and we can use it uh, on another project. But let's just hope that, you know, we can actually get this to work. Oh, so the question is now on my mind and probably everyone else's, <laughs> apart from it's not going to work Nick um, is <clears throat> where do I cut this open now we know that the stiletto shoes are you know stood upright <clears throat> I need to be able to get them out uh, to be able to get them out without ripping the mold too much doesn't matter obviously I can seal the mold back up with some more mold in the areas that we need to so that's not not too much of an issue but obviously I need to, there's a certain way, we either cut it like at the top or we cut it at the front and then obviously we can then pour in the resin and whatever we're gonna, else we're gonna put in there this way. I'm thinking that this might be the better option, cutting it in this way, but I don't know, it's gonna take me a little while to figure this out. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a little ponder <laughs> with a little cup of coffee <clears throat> and wonder and, and just, just sort of think about you know, whether we cut it this way, whether we cut it that way, whether we cut it on the side or whether we turn it upside down and cut it. I don't know. <laughs> I really wish at this point that you could interact with me because <laughs> and tell me what to do or what the best move is to make from here, because I really don't know at this point and I could really do with your help. But that's not going to happen. I'm going to have to make my decision on my own. Uh, I'll be back in a jiffy. What was that? That was me, Zip. So as you can see, I've started to rip out the, uh, <laughs> the stilettos from, from this mould, but uh, it's just... They're just stuck in there. I can't get them out. Oh, I just, I can't think about how this concept will work. I just, uh, I just can't think how it's supposed to be. There's obviously a certain way to do this. At the moment, I haven't found it. I will. Trust me. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <sighs> Oh no, look. See, look, this is not gonna work like this. See that? The, ba the, the material, the suede, I think it's suede. The suede on this shoe is just sticking to the mold. Look, it's ripping, ripping the shoe to bits. It's like normally, you know, obviously like that surface would just literally come off of there, no problem at all. But because it's got that suede material in it, it's, I'm not able to get this out because normally I'd just be able to pull this out and it would just literally release all of that. I'd be able to take it out. Um, so look, it's just, <laughs> it's just literally, yeah. Yeah, it's basically just no good. It's just, I'm gonna have to start again, which means I'm gonna have to find a new pair of stilettos and I'm gonna have to use a lot more mold, which costs a fortune. But I think we're going to have to do it if we want this experiment or project to work out. You know what I'm saying?
It's like cutting slabs of donna meat. So, <laughs> I've absolutely mullered, absolutely mullered this. <laughs> but I salvaged quite a lot of this mold because it's quite expensive stuff, you know. So I use these, I chop these all up into little bits and I'll reuse this again. I don't think there's much more I can get off that. <laughs> it kind of looks a little bit like Black Panther's new mask, but in pink. <laughs> Doesn't it? It does. It's got like, it's, you know, you can see like the little eye in there and, you know, the little ear thing there, the little pan. Looks like Pink Panther! <laughs> Don't worry, these ones are old. She won't even notice. Okay, folks, here we go. <laughs> We're back here again. Hopefully this time won't be a disaster like the last time. So I'm just gonna pop this out and see if this time we can actually get this out of the mold um, <laughs> without <laughs> ending up like that. <laughs> Right, oh. wow, now that took, that took some going. It's a little bit funky in there, but that is our shoe mold. <laughs> After all that, look at that. Could have probably fit another one in there. No, I couldn't. Oh, folks, look at this glistening in there. I reckon these stilettos could look pretty funkadelic for Christmas. <laughs> that looks smart. I mean, it looks good now. I don't know what it's going to look like when it comes out. <laughs> Let's hope it looks as expected, but we're not going to know that until we get the resin in and then let it set and then bring it out. It's gonna need a little bit of finishing here because obviously we've had to cut our way uh, in to get the, the shoe out. Come on folks, let's see how this turns out.
So the first one is in. I'm gonna leave that in there now for a few days because I've used the slow hardener. There's quite a bit of resin and I really wanna try and make this as crystal clear as possible. And I've always had really great results with both resins, but I think more so with the slow one because it just takes a lot of time. All the bubbles tend to go. So I'm really, really hoping for something spectacular when I pull this out. So it's gonna take a while. Not so long for you folks though, so stick with me. I'm gonna get this one out of there. We've obviously got the other one to do, but you've seen the kind of process. So I will rattle through that one really quick, get the resin poured in there, and then hopefully we can pull these out, get a really great reveal on this. I might make some sort of base. <laughs> I'm talking ahead of time now, hoping that it's gonna work out. <laughs> Cause things don't always work out in this workshop, as you already know. Wish me luck, folks. See you in a jiffy. 2,000 years later. <laughs> oh, right, here we go, folks, here we go. So, a uh, bit of bubbleage on this one, but I'm hoping that we can get this off with a bit of sanding. Obviously, I can't sand too much because uh, I don't want to nick the wires. So, this one, the other one's still being set in the, in the pot. It's taking a lot longer than normal because of the, the cold weather. But I'm going to try and pop this out now and just see what we got. Um, I've no idea what to expect. I think it's going to be pretty rough and ready, if I'm honest, so it is going to need a bit of preparation. So let's let's cut this open and let's see if we've got some kind of shoe resemblance. <laughs> look at this folks I mean yeah it does look a little bit worse for wear and I did think that it would I'm not sure why but I just kind of had this vision that it would look a bit scrappy but <laughs> oh dear Nick what have you created I mean it kind of looks fairly cool it needs a bit of cleaning up so I'm gonna give it a good clean and try to avoid um, you know, well, cutting any of these wires because if I cut the wire, that's it. I'm, it it's, it's a goner. So, and we don't want to do that. So, I've got to be really, really careful. But uh, let's see what I can achieve, shall we? But that, that does look pretty cool, actually. Look at it. It does look pretty cool. I like it. <laughs> Especially when this is going to be lit up. Now, that is where it's going to come into its own. Oh, no! Yep, I've nicked the wire. Oh, dear. Well, I think it's safe to say that I shouldn't really be putting wires in resin anymore. <laughs> We've got one chance left, folks. Let's see if we can make this work. It's Cinderella's shoe. I finally finished this one, folks. So, and I'm really chuffed to get it out to you. A new project. I know it wasn't perfect, but hey, what do you expect from watching this channel? It wasn't even supposed to be a Christmas project, but it took me that long that it is now. I just want to say 
a massive thank you to for everyone's messages and support uh, for me and this channel. For those of you that saw my video last week uh, and the one before that, I just want to say thank you because you have given me hope uh, that and my channel and what I do is is worth saving, I think. I'm not 100% convinced yet, although I've had so many amazing messages and uh, it really has made a big difference. I have come up with a few ideas from some messages and things that you guys have said. So I really, really thank you for uh, kind of giving me some inspiration and I need that because it has been difficult, it has been hard, and I just want to say thank you. And obviously, happy Christmas. Ah, oh my God. <laughs> I mean, what, we're two days away for Christmas now. Is it two days? Yeah, at least two days away if I've got this up in the right time. Should be going up the weekend before Christmas. So happy Christmas, everyone. I know not everyone celebrates Christmas, but happy festive season. Have a really fantastic break with your family and friends. It's just a great get together. It's just nice to relax and just not do anything really, isn't it really? I love Christmas, as you know. So folks, I do have a couple of projects, as I mentioned, that I will be finishing for you. And I hope that I will be inspired enough to carry on and come up with some really great content for you next year. Um, I've definitely got this big one that I'm working on in the garden. <laughs> so you more than likely might see that. But I will warn you, it is extremely different than what you've seen before. But maybe that's what my channel needs right now. A little different, you know what I'm saying? Thank you folks for everything. I know I've had loads more support on Patreon and members and things like that. I can't say thank you enough. I really don't know how to say it. But um, it's just been, oh, I don't know. Just thank you. I want to create better content for you and I know that a lot of you still like and enjoy the content that I'm making but I just want to make it better. For me it's more important that you folks like what I do. So again folks if you could share this video with family, friends, I don't know wherever you could put it, like it, that makes a massive difference. If you're liking it and comment and sharing YouTube will take that and think <laughs> that it's a good video even if it isn't. <laughs> but that will really help me, folks, and I really want to try and get more and more people that are invested in my channel already that have subscribed. You know, there's 860 odd thousand people there, and I want to try and capture a few more of those attentions because they subscribe for a reason once before, and I want to get them all back. <laughs> so thank you for helping me do that. Again, I won't waffle too much, Happy Christmas to everybody out there. I hope you have a fab break, whatever you're doing. I'll be back probably with a remastered video before the end of the year because I've got a couple of these I'm gonna put out and a new video for you in the new year, which is this one over here that I'm just about to finish. But it won't be finished this year, but it will be next. Take care, folks. Love to you all. Cheers.